Hey church, Nathan here from Icon Church. Looking forward to sharing this devotion together. Let me read some verses to us that we're gonna look at today from Matthew 13, verses one to nine. It says this, that same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it, while all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seeds, some fell along the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked plants. Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop of a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. He who has ears let him hear. I love this story because Jesus is talking to me and to you and to everyone listening to actually uh, prepare our hearts for God's word. And he begins to explain uh, this through farming terminology, which the people who were listening would have known about this. But here's what I get from this is that God has something for each and every one of us. Whoever you are, wherever you're watching this, Wherever you find yourself, whatever situation you find yourself in, God has something for you. And I really believe that actually our job is just to prepare our hearts for what God has got for us. Actually, Jesus is talking about God's word and preparing our hearts for God's word. And so I want to highlight just one of the, uh, one of the places the seed fell for us today. And it's the place of the thorns. Because I think it can speak into our day today. And it can speak into what we're facing right now during COVID-19 and what we, whatever we're facing uh, in these moments, that actually it can speak of thorns growing in our hearts. At the moment, we're having our back garden landscaped and uh, last year we tried to do it ourselves, but it's too big a job. And I want to say a big thank you to everyone who came and helped last year, but like it was a mammoth, mammoth task. And over the last year, we have done nothing with our back garden. And let me tell you, weeds have grown. They've grown tall. They've grown nearly as tall as me. Actually, I say we've done nothing. We've cleared it once this year and they grew back even taller and even stronger than ever before. You see, when we don't tend to our heart, when we don't prepare our heart for God's word, things can grow in our heart through offense, through unforgiveness, through many things. But I believe in these times that even weeds can grow. Weeds of fear, weeds of fear, weeds of worry, thorns of anxiety can grow in our hearts. But actually we have to begin to tend to our heart. And I want to encourage us to plow our hearts with peace, to plow our hearts with peace. I really believe that what people are searching for in life is peace. And true peace is not out there in a mystical form, but actually it's found in the person of Jesus. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And so I want to encourage you to continually plow your heart with the person of Jesus, that actually you fix your eyes on Jesus as we've been reminded. Consider him for all that he's got for us because God has got something for each and every one of us. Don't discount yourself today. God has got something for you. So how do you need to tend to your heart today? How do you need to uh, make it good soil? Because I want to finish by just sharing the promise that's ended. Because if we can create good soil in our hearts, here's the promise. And it's found in verse 8. It says, still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop 160 or 30 times what was sown. Listen to this. It's not just producing what the seed produces, but it produces beyond that. Ephesians 3 and verse 20 tells us that God is able to do immeasurably more than all we could ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. So I want to encourage us to prepare your heart. Maybe check your heart today. What's the condition of your heart? Let me pray for us as we finish this devotion. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you that you've got something for each and every one of us. And I pray today that you would help us to remove those weeds, to to tend to our hearts and to uh, create good soil in our hearts so that we can receive all that you've got for us. And I'm believing today as Icon Church that as we create good soil, 
that actually we will see uh, a crop 160 and 30 times more than we could have seen before because we're creating good soil. So help us, God. Search our hearts today. Let us know how to tend to our hearts. Let us remove those weeds in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Amen.